How you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato and I've got a small surprise for you. And when I say small, I literally mean small. So here I am standing out, minding my own business, filming some B-roll of this awesome landscape. And right out in front of me comes this little red-bellied snake. It was like maybe three feet from where I'm standing. Needless to say, I made a video on the snake because they're a beautiful species and you're probably gonna like it. Check it out. For being a super common snake, I've only run into these snakes a handful of times, and most of them were in North Carolina. These snakes are somewhat fossorial. They spend most of their time under objects or even underground. That being said, you'll never find one of these snakes climbing a tree or a bush or anything like that. To my surprise, I actually found this individual going across the ground right in front of where I was standing. Funny thing, often these snakes will have an off-white or yellowish ring around their neck. Between that and uh, the red bellies, they can often be confused with ringneck snakes. Very understandable. A key thing to focus on is that ring. If the ring is complete around the neck and it's not broken anywhere, then it's a ring neck. Usually on the red bellies, there's a space, but most of the time that ring is more like three spots on either side of the head. Now obviously, as their name implies, these snakes have a red belly, but it's not always red. Sometimes their belly can be more of an orange coloration or yellow, and in some individuals, it can actually be a bluish black. I would love to see that. Overall body coloration can range anywhere from light gray to dark gray, sometimes even brown. In my experience, they're usually like a medium to dark slate gray. A lot of the time, like this one here, you'll have this row of black spots going along the dorsal surface. Another difference between red bellies and ring necks is the fact that red bellies have rough or keeled scales. That means there's like a little ridge in the middle of each scale. Whereas ringneck snakes have smooth scales. There's no ridge and, well, they're smooth. You can find red bellies almost anywhere from sea level up to the mountains. They like all sorts of different habitats. Generally, they prefer areas that have moist soil. <laughs> I don't know what else because they could be found anywhere, even though I never find them. A full-grown adult is usually between 12 to 15 inches, but they can reach 16 inches, although it's rare. Being such small snakes, their diet usually consists of small food too. These actually prefer slugs and worms over insects and other invertebrates. So I'm right, aren't I? I mean, it's a beautiful snake. Obviously that red belly is the highlight but it contrasts really well with that slate gray back that has those black dots along the dorsal surface. It's just a really cool combination of colors and they're such a mild-mannered species of snake. At the very worst, it might try to escape. Otherwise, they'll never bite you. Um, you know, if you have red-bellied snakes in your region, which I'm sure you do, figure out where they live because you'll probably be able to find them. It's a very common species where they're found. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you agree with me that the red belly snakes are cute and beautiful to look at. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm gonna actually wait until the sun goes down because this is supposed to be a good area for a certain species of snake just after sunset at this time of year. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna hit the woods and uh, fail miserably. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.